Okay, so we finished stage one, which is front and back panels. We finished stage two, which is framing the box. Um, today we're going to do stages three and four to finish the project off. Stage three is give it a top. And so you should, from your 14 boards, have a set of wood remaining that looks like this. Um, one eight foot piece still remaining, one piece that's about five feet, a little bit more than five feet long, and several 34 inch pieces, and four 16 inch pieces. All right, so you may also, what you may have is two eight footers because I broke one, which is why I got a 36 inch and one that's almost five foot. So you should have actually, if you didn't break one like me, <laughs> or have a, have a faulty piece of wood, you should have two eight foot pieces, a bunch of 36 or 34 inch pieces, and um, four, uh, third, four uh, 16 inch pieces. So for framing the top, we don't need to cut anything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take four of our 34 inch pieces, and four of our 16 inch pieces and those are the ones we're going to use for framing the top. Okay, giving it a top. So I brought out my 34 and 16 inch pieces. I put one 34 here. Just uh, used about three screws. Then I put one 34 there and a 16. And a 16 here and a 34. Now on yours, you're going to also want to put a 34 there, depending on what kind of hinge that you have, that you're going to use for your door. Um, I happen to have hidden hinge, so I can't put my 34 there because I need um, to do something different here for my door apparatus. So um, at this point, if you get to this point and you have um, put in these pieces and put in another 34 right along here, then you're ready to staple your mesh um, onto the top. I'm going to have to merge my uh, stage 3 with a little bit of stage 4. Um, I have to get my post in here to support my hidden hinge uh, before I can staple my, my mesh screen. But I'll show you what that's all about so that there's not too much confusion. And um, still have two of the 16 inchers that I brought out um, that I don't really need at this point yet. So, um, so going back to stage three, um, give it a top. You need all. You need four of your 34s and two of your 36s to go around the whole inside, and that's just going to support the staples on the garden mesh. So we'll get the, or on the hardware mesh. So we'll get that up. I thought I might show you this almost uh, to the end interim step. Here I'm now tacking on the top mesh, but I want to show you what I did here um, where you might use a 34 all the way across and make this whole side here a door. I'm going to use a, uh, like I said, a hidden lat or a hidden hinge. And so I had to set this one, one long one in here and already um, establish this mesh. Uh, where there's not going to be the door from here on is going to be my door and then I had to take one of my 16 inches and cut it to 8 inch and then I had to get a piece that was um, 23 and 3 quarter inches for here and that's going to be um, what supports this hardware mesh so I'll show you in just a second it's going to be uh, totally um, complete on the top
All right, as you may or may not be able to see, um, the garden mesh, this particular roll is not quite as long as the rolls that were on the side. It's not the same five feet. And this is the, the issue with the garden mesh is that um, I'm seeing that uh, you know it's not totally dependable in terms of length and everything. There's some variety. So I'm going to have to um, makeshift a fix on this end to hold this end down and I will uh, demonstrate what that fix looks like when it's done. Alright, so you got to expect some setbacks on any project, you know, things don't always go as planned or um, materials that you buy aren't sized right or what have you. Anyway, it's it's always easy to overcome something like that. What I did for my fix, and hopefully you won't even have to worry about this because your mesh will be the right size. Um, what I did is I just added a 2x4 to this whole um, frame, this whole box frame. And it's good. It makes, makes the frame more sturdy. I used just a couple of drywall nails here, a couple on the ends. So four, four big drywall nails that are securing this whole ensemble together then I was able to finish um, putting my mesh and stage three is done now we're moving on to stage four and stage four is put up put in the door so um, what you're gonna want to do is measure your doorway now your doorway may be different than mine depending on if you're gonna use a hidden um, a hidden hinge or not. Uh, the way I made mine was for a hidden hinge and you might have yours for for a flush hinge. Um, the way I'm going to measure like if you have this whole opening of course you're going to measure from here to here and vertically. So I'm going to measure from here to about, about here so that about about 23 and a half inches. I want to make sure it's the same on the bottom yeah, just shy of 23 and a half inches, I think, could be safe. And then vertical. About 43 and a half. Forty-three and a half. Leave some room, you know, so it's not too tight. I'm gonna do maybe 23 and a quarter by 43 and a half for my door. So depending on the kind of saw that you have available to you, um, you may want to make the door in different ways. I'm going to make mine um, a little bit fancier because I have a miter saw and it's real easy to do with a miter saw. So um, what I've done is take my 23 and a quarter and measure it from here to here and cut 90 degrees. And same thing with my 43 and a half. 90 degrees so when they meet up they're gonna be you know nice and square like so and I'm gonna cut some other pieces to go in here as a to kind of hold it um, nicely in place uh, probably put some screws here as well but um, mainly these outside outside pieces across here are gonna be the the part that really stabilizes it. Um, so yeah, if you got a miter saw available, do it that way. If you don't, then you got to compensate in your measurements for doing something, you know, more like this, right? So take that into account um, in terms of preparing your door, and um, yeah, and just cut away. Okay, here's how I've set up the door. Um, basically, what I did was put these little cross beams in, a couple of screws on each one, 
and then I'd screw the angles in, one for each angle. That fixed the door. Then I uh, flipped it over and put in my hinge hardware already so I know where it's laying in relation to the mesh. So it's not going to mess up uh, mess up <coughs> the hinge if I put in the mesh on. So I put the hinge on first and then cut out and tack down the mesh. Now this is going to be ready to hang. I'm just going to hang it by the hinge, fix the handle, fix the lock, and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. And that will be We'll be done with stage four. Okay, we're done with stage four. Here is my door hanging on its hinges with the lock. Ta da! I did have a little issue with my door fitting. I didn't leave myself enough room, like I'd even warned everybody else. And so it's a little bit of a, a uh, tool time kind of a project. My uh, my old wood shop teacher from high school, Mr. Clipful, would have got all on my case for not uh, drawing up an exact plan with all the measurements and all that beforehand, but Clipful, I got her done, and I ain't missing a thumb. So, stage four is complete. And I, I don't put a flooring on it because um, I figure I need to be able to take stuff in and out of there that gets poopy and that kind of thing. So I, I don't need a floor. Somebody else in a different situation might want to put a floor on there. Especially if it's going to be an inside, um, an inside cage. So now all there is left to do is stage five, which is very... Um, specific to your individual needs. Alright, so stage five is the final stage and that stage is called Add Bird. <laughs> and this is what we have. Put in a couple of perches and I have my crow, one of my crows, Achilles, in there checking it out. New facilities so he can be outside and enjoying the summer weather and the fresh air and conversation with other wild crows. Hey Achilles. Yeah, so that's it. Five stages. Put together your side panels, frame in the box, stage two. Stage three, get a roof on there. Stage four, put the door. Stage five, add bird. <laughs> and that's how you make a big bird enclosure for wherever. <laughs>